All right, guys, I want to show you how you can make a smooth camera collision set up here in the third person character. I have been looking at other tutorials uh, to do this for my game and they're all super complicated with the uh, casting out line traces uh, left and right and moving the camera around but there's a much easier way to do it. So let me show you the problem here. If I press play and we run into these walls it's all good but if you have a wall that looks like this you get this annoying uh, bouncing back and forth uh, the camera getting pushed away from these pillars in the wall and i will show you how we can make this a little easier on the eye we will still have the camera bouncing uh, back and forth but it will be a little less harsh than uh, it is right here so let's open up the third person character here and here we have the camera boom and we have the camera which is following the camera boom which is also called a spring arm but they renamed it uh, and if you look inside this camera boom you can see uh, we have the do collision test here and that means that the camera uh, boom will collide with anything in the world that has the camera collision that is set to blocking so for example if i create uh, let's see here cube and if we go into the collision over here and uh, open the presets set it to custom this one down here camera is set to block that means that the camera boom will collide with this cube if we set it to ignore the camera will just fly through the cube so anything in your world that has camera on the block uh, the camera will, will collide with all right the cool thing about this spring arm component is the lag if we enable lag camera lag and camera lag rotation and we set it to like five just to show you what it's doing here and then we press play then we have a camera which is delayed so when i move the mouse the camera will be, will be delayed and that is pretty cool i will turn that off and this is a feature we will be going to be using uh, in this hack right so go and select the follow camera and then we will add another spring arm spring arm let's just call it spring arm and this spring arm let's go up in the settings let's set the spring arm length to zero and we will move the spring arm up to the camera boom so it is a, a child of the camera boom right and then you see it will move away we will just move it back to the camera which is around here after that we will take the follow camera and parent that to the spring arm if you press play now we will have the same thing as before there's no different the camera is just popping in and out super fast so the thing is on the new spring arm here first of all we need to uh, turn off the do collision test we don't want this spring arm to do any collisions we want the first camera boom spring arm to do all the collision the spring arm will do the lag delay thing so whenever the first when the camera boom hits a wall it stops right the collision is stopping the camera but because we have a spring arm underneath it will kind of keep moving a little and settle uh, in place <laughs> with a little delay right and the camera is following that spring arm so let's just and uh, no, i mean that's a lot of talking but let's see here enable the lag camera lag enable camera rotation lag and it should be a little less harsh see it's not as crazy as it was before and it's actually doable to run beside a wall like this now if we want it back as it was before we just turn off uh, the lag and rotation on the new spring arm 
and we will get exactly what we had before. So there you have it guys. This is an easy way to smoothen out the camera. And if you turn down the speed, so it takes a little longer for the new spring arm to settle, it will be uh, even less uh, intrusive, right? See, it's even better now. But you will still get the lag. So there you have it guys. This is an easy way to do smooth camera collision. All right, have a nice day and see you next time.